What's going on YouTube? Today we're going to be making some progress on the oil cooler system. So stay tuned and let's do this. I'm going to be mounting the oil cooler in front of the radio here in like the top section. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a, make a bracket that goes through here and here to hold it from the top. And hopefully that's enough to keep it steady. If not, I'll see about putting something in the crash bar to um, stabilize it. Uh, here we have a bracket that I um, made earlier and um, so this will like go through like that and then I'm gonna bend it up so that it goes through there as well and here's the two holes drilled and now to um, get some bolts through and secure those so that it can hold the brackets Okay, I got a bit carried away with the fabrication, but as we can see, we have this L-shaped bracket here, and on this side we have two L-shaped brackets going into each other. And now, that's the oil cooler all mounted up. So I'm just gonna tidy this up by just cutting off the um, threads that we don't need. And it should look a little neater. So I've taken the oil filter off, now I'm going to uh, test fit the sandwich plate to see how I can make this work. Sandwich plate is on, now I just need to finalise the position and the routing. Here we have the oil cooler um, mounted up and I'm now attaching the um, hoses to the in and out sides um, to directly to the um, sandwich plate just to test it out for now make sure everything's working as it should be um, because I forgot to bring the thermostat with me and also I can't fit the thermostat yet anyway because I don't have enough hoses to do that but I do have enough um, length in these um, braided hoses to complete the system so that's what I'm going to do today so yeah here we have the um, sandwich plate. It's looking a bit dirty because I don't have any under trays on this car. Also, I did have to take the wheel arch liners out um, for the wide body. But um, I'm going to be disconnecting this hose and that side will be attached to the sandwich plate. And then the hose that I connected to the other side of the cooler will be going in there and then we'll run it up and test it. Just put the drainer underneath to catch any fluid that does spill out. Uh oh, I think I did this one first.
There we go. Also, a pretty tight little tent in the whole thing. Yep. As I expected, there's oil in there. It's pretty dirty oil. Guess I sent it too hard. Right, now that's out of the way, we can uh, get to this one. Yep. Oh, it's coming up nice and easy. Yep. Let all of that drain out. Root the other one in in a way that will not interfere too much with other things. Still have enough space to reach. Do. Before I put that in, I need to sort out the other hose. So I'm gonna just go down a, a little bit, or lower the car a bit and make sure the other hose is still rooted properly. All right, let's move on to yep. piping up the other side of the cooler now. So we'll be going over this side again, like that. But first, to make sure that it seals, I need to use some PTFE tape. best to always go in the direction of um, tightening the threads so that you don't remove it all once you tighten it up. So that's on now. Let's get this on. Jesus. Dirty. It got really dirty under there. British weather. Definite is what made this so dirty. It's located. I just need to tighten it up. so it doesn't rub. There we go. Right. The side's done. Now let's get the rooting done over here for going to the cooler. This hose is a bit longer than the other one, so I'm going to be rooting it a bit differently. Right, this hose is quite a lot longer than the other one, so I've had to go around the outside of the frame. Which 
just need to get this located. Ah, there we go. Once it's on the threads, everything's good. Tighten the other one until this one runs. in Not for this one Tighten that whole thing. What I'm turning. Right. That's all planned. And we've just got to tidy up the hoses to make sure they don't interfere with anything else. Here is a potential rubbing point for the hose, so I'm just going to layer it up for now until I have something to secure it with. But over here it's been... I think that's where it was sitting next to the exhaust before. And obviously that was getting quite hot and oxidising. So it would seem. I'm just gonna wrap this in tape for now, nothing too fancy. Oh, that went terribly. That holds. I'll just do some over here as well, just so that 
Please don't destroy each other over time. That will at least keep them from moving for now. I'll just cable tie that for good measure. Now, make sure it doesn't go anywhere until it, the um, setup gets finalized. And there we have it. My engine's oil is officially being cooled with this. Mishima abraded host system. So at least for now, when the oil gets hot, even though it will take a little longer to get hot now, or maybe not too hot by the way I drive, the oil will go through here, get cooled down, go back through the engine. So, yeah. Now just to run the engine to make sure that there's no leaks anywhere. Everywhere's looking good. No leaks from this joint or this joint. And no leaks from the sandwich plate. So everything's good. To, also, to solve the issue with the um, thermostat, I'm going to get a thermostatic sandwich plate so then I won't have to run all these hoses everywhere because I, it might interfere with the boost pipes. All of this has got to come off because it's in the way of the hoses. I've got to chop out each of these little plastic things and um, let's take a while. Thanks for watching this video guys, if you liked it then please like, comment and subscribe, follow me on Instagram under that silver I go, and I'll see you guys in the next video.